Madison, Wisconsin. I said, you know, my dad would have been in Wisconsin, in Madison, out in the streets singing songs for the union guys that are out there. And I thought I wanted to be there. All of them. We were playing in Indiana, and Ohio, and there's places all over the world now. People just standing up, hoping that things change and doing something about it. And I never, I never thought I'd see as, as much. It's almost like the old days coming back. Yeah, ain't it? Yeah. Like Wish I could remember them, but at least I got them now. <laughs> Basically, I think what's happening is I'm feeling for free right now, like I used to have to pay for. <laughs> Well, there you go. Here, here's what happened. I mean, I'm not making this stuff up. I remember these folk festivals back years ago. And I'd, be, I'd come, come out to this one one time. I had a, a uh, it must have been, I don't know where, it was, I don't know if it was here or there. It was 1968 or something like that. And I, I was coming out to the Philadelphia Folk Festival. I had just bought, uh, the record had come out, my first record had come out a little before that. I had enough money, I went and bought a car. I bought a 67 Camaro. It was yellow. And I was going over, what's the road that, uh, the, the, some kind of pike thing nearby here. I was going to visit a friend in Sumney Town. And, uh, and so we was on the big road coming down 95. And my girlfriend at the time says, you know, we're being followed. I said, I know, they've been following me for about a year or two. <laughs> Federal government following me. And I thought, on this little road with the hills going up, I, I didn't know if they was following me for sure, but I got off the big road, hung a left and then a right and then another right to get back on the road that comes here. And sure enough, that car just followed me right around. I said, holy shit, we are being followed. <laughs> so you know how it is, the roads are going up and down like this, just, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going faster and faster, doing about 80, when there's one little lane bridges and stuff on the old road, you know, and I'm, I'm moving along. And finally, we come up one big hill and down the next steep one. And in that time that I was invisible, I pulled that car off the road. There was a little stone bank, and I pulled right around the back of it. And at that very same instant, another 67 yellow Camaro <laughs> come out of the road I was on and went straight across. Those guys come down the road, saw that, and took off. And I said, I like this stuff. <laughs> Anyway, that's, that's just one of my adventures coming to this festival, and that's not so exciting now, but I remember the old ones. And like I said, there's a lot of the old songs. I remember when I was a little kid, my father, uh, I was supposed to be sleeping, he'd be writing uh, at this little desk he had, a little typewriter, and he liked office supplies. And so he'd be sitting there cutting out newspaper articles, things that he thought would make a good song. And I remember one, and he was doing this all the time. And then he'd take the cutout songs, or uh, uh, stories, and put them on the wall. And he'd scotch tape them, or thumbtack them, or staple them, glue them, hammer them, nail them, screw them in, whatever, until we had wallpaper. <laughs> That's how he wrote. And that was how he was writing back in 1947, the year I was born. He read an article about a plane that had crashed out in California. Some e illegal migrant workers being deported back to Mexico. And uh, the plane crashed and everybody died. That's not what pissed him off so much, because accidents happen. But what pissed him off was that nobody's name was even mentioned. And names was important to him. So he wrote down some thoughts about it. It wasn't really a song. Until years later, a college student named Martin Hoffman got a hold of the lyrics and put a tune to it. And it stuck, and it became one of his most well-known songs. And I thought I'd sing it tonight. Just because... Just because this was written over 60 years ago and it sounded like it was wrote last week. You know what I'm saying? It's nice that the songs, it's nice to be talented enough to write a song that's got that kind of shelf life. But on the other hand, it's too bad the world still sucks. <laughs> Crops are all in, the peaches are ruddy. The oranges are piled in their creosote doves. They're flying you back to the Mexican border to pay all your money to wait back again. My father's own father waited that river. The 
took all the money that he made in his life. My brothers and sisters come working the fruit trees, and they rolled the trucks till they took down and died. Goodbye to my one, goodbye, Rosalita, adios, mis amigos, Miss Lucy Maria. You won't have a name when you ride the big airplane, and all they will call you. us are living and others not wanting. Our contracts out and we have to move on. But it's 600 miles to the Mexican border. They chase us like outlaws, wrestlers and thieves. We've died in your hills and we've died in your deserts. We've died in your valleys and died